What's up everyone? This is Jonathan Stevens, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install Nerf Studio. You can use this software to create Nerfs and now Gaussian Splats. So if you have installed it in the past and you can't remember how to reinstall it, but want Gaussian Splatting, this is a great video to refresh you. And if you're new to all of this, there is command prompts that you have to put in, but I do a very good job, hopefully, of walking you through each command, and there's gonna be a lot of copy and pasting from the website, so it shouldn't be too tough. If you have questions, please, please, please go to the comment section and ask questions, but I also highly suggest getting on the Discord or on the original project GitHub page and asking questions there as well. I do run into one issue during the installation, which I show you how to troubleshoot because it's very common, and I hope if you run into that issue, you're able to solve it yourself as well. Enough with this intro, let's jump into my PC and start installing Nerf Studio. The first thing you're gonna do when you install Nerf Studio is go to the documentation page. They have everything you need to learn how to install it. And I'm gonna walk you through that page because that's the easiest way to do it. I'll make sure I link this in the description to this video, but you'll see that there's all kinds of information about the types of uh, Nerf models you can train and everything. But what we're really looking for on the left side is the installation tab here. And where this is where people get usually tripped up from the get go. It'll show you Linux by default. So make sure you click Windows because it is a different but very similar installation process. So if you've ever installed anything like this before, you'll learn that you'll need Git. And so you may have already done this and I'll make sure I add some bookmarks in the instructions here so you can kind of jump around if you've already done something. But I'm just gonna walk through these. I won't install everything, but I'll show you what process would take. So for example, for Git, that is basically software that pulls code from GitHub. And if you, if you download this, it's super easy. We're on Windows, that's what this video is for. So you make sure you download the Windows version follow the command prompts, and, and that's it, you're done. Super easy. And then you need to install Visual Studio 2022. And it says that must be done before installing CUDA. So you will need CUDA Toolkit at one point. So if you already have that installed and you don't have Visual Studio 2022 installed, you'll need to reinstall CUDA Toolkit to make sure this works properly. So I'm going to go to the Visual Studio installer. I've already installed Visual Studio 2022, but I just want to show you what you need a check mark on when installing this. So if I go here, you'll typically see an install button, but I just see modify. I'm using the, the free community version. That is what you'll most likely be using. Uh, and then you want to make sure that um, you go and you check mark desktop development with C++. If you don't have that check marked on, this will not work. And they call that out in the instructions here, desktop development with C++. So pretty easy. There we go. So I'm just gonna close this up because you actually don't need this open while running this. Okay, and then we're moving along. We uh, it requires Python with Conda. If you don't have Conda, Conda is software that basically will in handle installs of code and, and environments. And an environment basically is a like sectioned off area of your, in, your system where you can install all sorts of dependencies and software and code and it won't interact with other parts of your system, which you want because you don't want to have a mishmash of different versions of code all in one place. So um, again, just open this tab here install mini conda, you can install anaconda, either one, anaconda's got all these other tools you can learn about on your own, but just for this, just mini conda will work just fine. So now we want to create an environment, and to do that, we need to go to search here, type in cmd, we're gonna launch command prompt. And in command prompt, I will make sure I make this a little bigger for everyone to see. You want to go, I'm gonna make this bigger as well, you wanna see it says conda create name Nerf Studio Python 3.8. We're just gonna copy that top line and it's gonna create a conda environment called Nerf Studio with Python 3.8 installed. And this will take a couple minutes. So I might be jumping to the end of this in the video so you don't have to watch the whole install process. 
Okay, it's done. It'll say Conda activate Nerf Studio is how you, how you activate that. Um, that's how you know it's all finished. It also say all these transactions have been done. And you'll see that's the first line after that is to, to activate this Conda environment. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that into the next command. And now you'll see it says Nerf Studio. So that means we're in the Nerf Studio Conda environment and we're no longer in our system environment. And then also this is the path in which we're working from. That should be your user folder typically. Um, so go, I'm gonna go back to here. And now we're gonna go to uh, this Python uh, pip install upgrade pip. This is just like making sure it upgrades this, this called a pip package installer. It's making sure all the install utilities are up to date. Takes a few seconds. There we are, pretty quick. So the next thing we need to do is we need to install PyTorch. And it says, note if PyTorch version prior to 2.0.1 is installed, previous versions of PyTorch, blah, 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 should be installed. I don't think I have those installed, but I'm gonna run it anyways, and it'll tell me if nothing's been installed. Bam, there it is. Nothing's installed. This is a fresh environment. Shouldn't have been anything on there. Um, now, now it gets a little bit more interesting. Now we can install Torch with CUDA 11.8 or Torch with CUDA 11.7. Now, if you've already set up Visual Studio and CUDA Toolkit, then you basically should know which one you, you need. For that, you go to nvcc ah, nvcc dash dash version if you think you have CUDA Toolkit already in installed. And Sierra says, it says I have 11.8. However, I have 11.8, but I have not installed I've installed Visual Studio after I installed this CUDA toolkit, so I'll have to actually reinstall this to get everything to work. But because I have 11.8, I wanna make sure I'm using CUDA 11.8. So uh, again, I say I'm gonna reinstall it. So just the easiest way to find this is just type in CUDA toolkit 11.8, and you'll find the download page. And um, you'll pick your operating system, the architecture. I'm on Windows 11, you might be on Windows 10 and you can pick this exe local and click download. It's a large download. I'm not gonna make you guys sit and watch that all download. Um, so I'm just gonna go to here and just start the executable. And this will take just a second. I'm gonna fast forward to the end because if you read the instructions here, it just says follow on-screen prompts. You're literally just gonna do everything as the default installation. I don't think you should be changing anything if this is new to you. Um, so I'm going to fast forward to this being installed, uh, do it along as well after you've installed Visual Studio to make sure everything working all right on your side. And this might take several minutes for it to install. Okay, I finished installation. And if you're unsure if you have Visual Studio and CUDA Toolkit kind of compatible together, a, a pro tip is you can go to um, the, you know, like add remove programs here. I'm just going to drag this onto the right screen, like so. And if I go and I type in CUDA, you should see this Visual Studio integration with the 11.8 for me. That's what I have. And you should see that too on your side. If you don't see that, that means you've installed in the wrong order. Only check that if you feel like something's wrong. Um, so going back to installation, we're all set up to start. Now we're going to install PyTorch 2.0.1. I'm on 11.8, you might be 11.7. So I'm just gonna copy this first line. There's a little button here that always copies things for you. And I'm just gonna go in here and copy and paste it. And this might, this might take a few minutes. As you can see, it's a big download, 2.6 gigabytes. I'm just gonna let this run and we'll probably jump into this once it's finished. Okay, I have it installed. Uh, you know something went wrong if there's any red text besides just this download size. I don't see any of that. Um, so that means everything installed correctly. On to the next step. I'm going to go back to the instructions. It says to build the necessary CUDA extensions, CUDA Toolkit is also required. We recommend installing Conda. So we're just going to copy and paste that, follow their recommendation, and paste that in as well. And again, this might take a few minutes, so I'll most likely be fast forwarding to when this is finished. Okay, it's done. That did not take very long. Okay, it says preparing transaction, all that. It's been done, no problems. And then, uh, now I need to install tiny CUDA NN. And some people run into problems with this. I'm gonna hope I don't, but we'll give it a shot. 
I'm just gonna copy that, but hit that copy button again. Makes my life easy. And again, this one will take a little bit of time. Like all of these, it needs to download a bunch of submodules, things like that, and run it. Uh, this may take several mo minutes, uh, and you might run into some errors. So if, if I run into errors, I'll troubleshoot them in this video, and you can jump past that if you don't. Um, but we'll see what happens when I install it. Okay, and I already ran into a problem. It says, uh, failed building wheel for tiny CUDA NN. Um, and so it should tell you kind of where the problem is. Um, so let's see what it says. Uh, I get the CRT defs H problem. If you t see that, this should be a pretty easy fix. Okay, so here's how to fix this issue if you run into it like I did. I will have a link to this page. Um, it's a troubleshooting, this kind of same problem I had. If you go to the bottom of the page, this guy tells you how to fix it. So this is from inside the activated Conda environment. Run this VC var 64 bat script to set up the environment variables. Um, this is, I, I have activated my Conda environment or studio, and then I run the dot bat from Visual Studio 2022. So um, we're going to give that a shot. So basically, uh, first thing I need to do is I got to find this batch script, show you how to do that. I'm just going to copy this um, just so I have this to look for. And then I'm going to go to my C drive where I have Visual Studio installed. You can go to Program Files, Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 Community, and it's, it's somewhere in here. So instead of having to actually find it, I'm just going to copy and paste in the search and there we are, it found it. And I'm just going to right click on this and copy as path. And if I go back here, I'm in my Nerf Studio environment, so I can just um, paste that path in like so, Hit enter. He's gonna run this command prompt and that's it. So now we're gonna rebuild the tiny CUDA um, CNN. Uh, if you click, just a, a tip, if you want to bring up something you've already put in, you can either go recopy and paste out of the instructions here in Nerf Studio, or if you just type up and up, you can bring up your past install. So here's the one for uh, Torch Vision. Here's the one for CUDA, CUDA Toolkit. Here's your tiny CUDA NN. So just hit enter, and it'll try installing that one more time. And this time, it should be successful. Everything built successfully after doing that one little troubleshooting. Hopefully you don't run into that. You can jump over that section if you don't run into that problem. So now we get to install Nerf Studio. There's two ways to do it. You can pip install it. That's the easiest way. I recommend doing that if you don't care about having the newest and you just want to run Nerf Studio. But like they soft launched Gaussian splatting and you want those new commits that haven't um, been packaged up in their installer, you're going to have to do it from source. So I'm going to I'm going to do it from the source as that will have the latest greatest. Um, if you have issues with that, you can always just pip install it and it'll run really easy. Just going to copy and paste pip install Nerf Studio straight in here and you're done. Super simple. Uh, but for me, I'm actually going to clone this project first. It's going to basically clone the code from GitHub. This doesn't take very long, but it's going to download all those objects and put them right on your hard drive. Bam, there we are. And then we want to basically move to that folder. So this change directory to Nerf Studio. So now you can see I'm in C, user, J-O-N-A-T, Nerf Studio. That's this folder on my computer. If I refresh this somehow, go back and forward, um, you'll see Nerf Studio. So now I'm working within the Nerf Studio folder with all the, the modules and everything that you're going to need to build this project. Uh, so now you're just going to upgrade your PIP setup tools. Um, just copy and paste that next line. This takes a second. There we go. That's all it takes. Off to the next, the last line here. And if this works correctly, then you are done and you have it installed. So this, again, takes a little bit of time. All right, I'm all finished. Uh, I had no red text or anything like that. I'm just going to say, if you run into a problem installing this, do go to the instructions and click on this GitHub tab here. And uh, there is an issues uh, section here. Copy and paste all the code you see, and put it in here and say, here's my issue. 
uh, I would also search for it in here first, your issue, but more than likely someone can say, oh, that's uh, this how to solve it. It's really easy. There's very few things that will show up that people haven't already figured out how to troubleshoot. So just let that be known. Also, they have a Discord. Join the Discord, ask questions. The developers are completely into getting people uh, help out in that. And of course, on this video, you can ask questions too. I will do my best to watch these after enough months. I might not be looking so closely. However, I will do my best to point you out to a solution as well if I can. So again, it's all installed. You don't have this like software you're, you're used to running, but there it is. And that is how you install it. Well, there you have it. Not too tough to install. Once you have all that code installed, the next thing you need to do is to go watch one of my videos on how to run Nerf Studio, or you can just jump into that documentation page and follow along as well, because a lot of it is just copying and pasting. And again, if you have any questions, make sure you add those down in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. But the Discord and the original GitHub page is probably the best place if you run into some real hard issues. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.